This weird, noisy rabble has sprung from the imagination of one man, a man whose art brings to light the inner world of his dreams. He's the Spanish artist, Joan Mio. Starting early, he works for most of the day with deep concentration and in silence. Originality and experiment seem to be the main features of Miro's work, but he claims that much of it is derived from the past. He admires not only cave paintings, but artists like Cezanne or Turner. In the early 30s, the mood of Miro's paintings began to darken. The dreams began to change into nightmares. The political situation throughout Europe was getting worse. Paintings like Man and Woman in Front of a Pile of Excrement from 1995 gave a sense of the coming disaster. What Miro was doing was not so much distorting life, but seeing life as it really is, using what could be called the third eye, the eye which sees deeper than the surface, which is awake in dreams. Miro has always been in touch with the mysteries of the night. He knows that you can see further by night than by day. C'est comme s'il poussait la nuit, la nuit le jour. C'est comme si ça pousse tout seul, tiens bien, puis là. Oui, c'est comme une fleur qui pousse tout seul. Et toi, le grand jardinier, il a dedans. C'est ça, oui. Il va bien. Oui. Tu as, tu as, tu as, tu as vu cette toile que j'ai repris, tu m'as demandé de travailler. Alors, j'ai travaillé ça comme, comme si, comme si j'ai eu une rose ou un jardin rose. Oui, exactement ça. 